Hey, welcome Math Learners! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel, Learn Math Beach. This is part 4 of 2020 MTOP Reviewer Grade 4 Elimination Rounds. Problem number 16. Using all the digits 8, 7, 9, and 4, write the largest number greater than 6,000 but less than 9,500. So ang ating solution guys, clue number 1 natin. The number is greater than 6,000 but less than 9,500. Ang clue number 2 natin, the largest number using 8, 7, 9, and 4. So kagaya na makikita natin sa ating screen, sa ating thousands place value natin, ang ginamit natin ay number 9. Bakit? Because 9 is the largest digit among the options. So sabi kasi sa problem, largest possible number. So number 9. Next is, sa hundreds place value, gumamit tayo ng 4. Bakit? Kasi 9,400 something. That's the 9,500 kasi yung binanggit sa problem. So tama na 4 yung gagamitin natin. Next is, ano yung last 2 digits natin? Yung natira, 8 and 7. And since we are looking for the largest number possible, it should be 87. Therefore, 9,487 is the largest possible number greater than 6,000 and less than 9,500 using the digits 8, 7, 9, and 4. So the final answer is 9,487. Next problem, please. Problem number 17. John's mother gives him 800 pesos every week. He spent one half of it for his lunch in school. Then he kept one fifth of the remaining amount for his savings. How much does he save after five weeks? So kagaya na makikita sa ating screen ang ating solution. Step one: find the amount of money spent in lunch and subtract it from 800 pesos. So kagaya na makikita natin, 800 times one half is equivalent to 400 pesos. Bakit? Kasi nakansel yung 800 two. 800 divided by two is 400 2 divided by 2 is 1 so 400 times 1 equals 400 next is iso subtract natin ng 400 sa 800 so 800 minus 400 is equivalent to 400 pesos so yun yung natira doon sa 800 after niyang masubtract na yung nagasto sa lunch next step step number 2 find the amount of money he saves and multiply it by 5 weeks Bakit imo multiply sa 5 weeks? Kasi sabi sa problem, how much does he save after 5 weeks? So kagaya na makikita sa screen, 400 times 1 fifth is equivalent to 80. Nakancel ulit yung 400 and 5. 400 divided by 5 is 80. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So 80 times 1 equals 80 pesos. After that, it times natin yung 80 pesos sa 5 weeks. The final answer is 400 pesos. Next problem please. Problem number 18, the cost of 12 kilogram of rice is 459 pesos. How much is a 25 kilogram pack of rice to the nearest tens? Kagaya na makikita sa ating solution, by ratio and proportion, maisosolve natin ito. 12 kilogram is to 459 pesos equals 25 kilogram is to x. So yung x yung kukunin natin kung magkano yung 25 kilogram pack of rice. So yung multiply natin ng means and extremes. 12 kilogram times x tapos 459 pesos times 25. 12 times x equals 12x equals 459 times 25. So, you divide natin both sides by 12. So, makakancel ang 12 divided by 12. So, x na lang matitira. x equals 459 times 25 divided by 12 is equivalent to 956.25 pesos. Hindi pa ito yung final answer natin kasi sabi sa problem, to the nearest tens. Ibig sabihin, kagaya na makikita natin, yung 956.25 pesos, yung 5 dun sa 56. Yun yung tens natin, yung number 5. Kaya ang katabi niya is number 6. So round up tayo. So ang final answer natin is 960 pesos. Hindi 956.25 ang ating final answer kasi sabi sa problem, to the nearest tens. So it round off.
half pa natin siya. Since 6 yung katabi ng 5, nag-round up tayo. Okay? Next problem, please. Problem number 19, Luna bought 60 cupcakes for 6 pesos each. She placed them in boxes. Each box contains half a dozen cupcakes. If she sells each box for 50 pesos, how much she earn in pesos? So ang ating solution guys, step 1, find the total investment. So makukuha natin yun kung i-multiply lang natin yung cupcakes at kung ilan yung presyo ng each cupcake. So, 60 times 6 equals 360 pesos. Yun yung nagastos niya. Yun yung investment ni Luna. Step 2, find the total after sales. Magagawa natin yan kung aalamin natin kung ilang box ba yun. Sabi kasi sa problem, she placed them in boxes. Each box contains half a dozen. Kapag sinabing half a dozen, ibig sabihin 6 cupcakes yung nandun sa isang box. So, gagamit tayo ng ratio and proportion. Pwede mo namang simply divide, pero pwede ka rin gumamit ng ratio and proportion. 1 is to 6 equals x is to 60. 1 is to 6 kasi sabi kanina, sa isang box, mayroong 6 cupcakes. So, ilang box yung may 60 cupcakes. So, 6 times x equals 6x. 1 times 60 equals 60. So, 6x equals 60. Divide both sides by 6. x equals 10 boxes. Or, you could simply divide 60 cupcakes divided by 6 para malaman mo kung ilang boxes. 10 boxes siya. Next step, 10 boxes times 50. Kasi 50 pesos daw yung kada box yung benta niya. So, 500 pesos yung after sales. Next step, step number 3, subtract after sales minus investment. So, 500 pesos, yun yung after sales niya, minus 360 pesos, yung investment, equals 140 pesos. So, the final answer is, Luna's profit is 140 pesos. Don't forget the unit sign, which is peso sign or PHP. Next problem, please. Problem number 20, one number is three-fifths of another number. If the smaller number is 12, what is their difference? So, meron tayong given. Ang given natin ay smaller number daw ay 12. So, let x be the smaller number and let y be the larger number. So, step 1 natin guys, kagaya na makikita natin dyan, gagawa muna tayo ng mathematical expression based on the problem. Sabi sa problem, 1 number. So, yun yung smaller number, no? 1 number, so yung smaller number is x. Sabi, 1 number is. Kapag nakakita ka ng is, equals yun sa math. So, x equals 3 fifth of another number. By the way, guys, 3 fifths of another number kapag sinabing of multiplication yun so x equals 3 fifth times y so if the smaller number is 12 what is their difference so meron tayong given x equals 12 so i-substitute lang natin so i-substitute natin 12 equals so yung sa right side of the equation sinimplify na natin no so yung 3 times y equals 3y over 5 so, 12 equals 3y over 5. Next is, yung number 5 over 5 yung denominator sa right side of the equation, ililipat natin sa left side. Ililipat natin sa kabila. So, 5 times 12 equals 60. 60 equals 3y. So, divide both sides by 3. y equals 20. So, yung 20, ito yung larger number natin. Hindi pa yan yung final answer ha. Kasi ang tanong, what is their difference? So, minus natin ang 20 at 12. So, 20 minus 12 equals 8. So, the final answer is 8. Okay, so maraming salamat sa panood ng video na ito. Kung nakatulong sa'yo, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn Math Page. Pakiabangan mo ang part 5 and 6 ng 2020 MTAP Reviewer Grade 4 Elimination Rounds. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because in our channel, you will find and learn a simple and clear explanation to math lessons and ideas and also step-by-step -step solution to math problems and math contests like MTOP para ma-improve rin ang problem-solving skills mo. Okay, laging tandaan ang ating outro message. Every problem, there is and there's always has a solution. So love lots, keep smiling, and keep learning. Bye! See you in our next video!